We're riding the summer heat wave right into August and all the big events, new Xbox game releases and updates, which it holds. So let's get right to it and see how the forecast is looking. One of the first dates you'll want to circle on your calendar is August 25th, because that's when Gamescom 2021 kicks off. Once again, all the big players are coming to town, including Ubisoft, Sega, EA, Bethesda, and of course, Xbox. We have absolutely no clue what they'll be showing off this year, but given how Xbox and Bethesda brought the house down at E3, you definitely won't want to miss their Gamescom shows. Last year, we got a look at the likes of major upcoming releases like Dragon Age 4 and Aragami 2, as well as momentous announcements like the additions of Petable Dogs to Sea of Thieves. So hopefully Gamescom 2021 has some equally awesome stuff in store for us. First up is Psychonauts 2, which is probably best described as like eating some jelly beans chased by an energy drink and then spinning around a load of times on those waltzer fairground rides. What I'm trying to say is, is very trippy. This wonderfully wacky cartoon platformer sees Raz and his band of psychic friends once again fighting to save the world from a wave of incredibly strange threats. To do so, they'll have to venture inside some already unstable minds before a telekinetic child started throwing things around inside them, leading to some of the most inventive and deranged level design you'll ever see. From zippers made of human teeth to giant glove puppet game show hosts, Psychonauts 2 is simply overflowing with imagination, and with the 4K graphics you'll find on the Xbox Series X, it feels more like taking control of an animated movie than ever before. Best of all, Xbox Game Pass members can pick it up right away on August 25th. If you've been following the progress of the mythological roguelike Hades, you might have noticed that it added another trophy to its crowded cabinet when it took home the big prize from the Developers' Choice Awards. So the guys who make games for a living think that this is a really, really well-made game. And it's really hard to disagree. For one thing, Hades just does the fundamentals incredibly well. Its combat is incredibly tight. There are a whole bunch of perfectly balanced weapons to master and the huge variety of boons you can earn along the way ensure that no two runs ever feel quite alike. But the reason everyone has gone so crazy for it is that literally every other aspect of it, from the catchy theme music to the hilarious dialogue and the stellar art design, has been crafted to those same lofty standards. And soon you won't just have to take our word for it either. Hades will be floating up the river sticks and onto Xbox Game Pass on August 13th. While Hades deals in the aeon spanning epic tragedies of gods and heroes, 12 Minutes limits itself to a married couple, a police officer, and the 720 seconds which will determine the rest of their lives. Hitting Xbox Game Pass on August 19th, Annapurna's time loop drama comes with an all-star cast as James McAvoy, Willem Dafoe, and Daisy Ridley provide their acting chops to bring the tale to life. The premise is pretty simple. An evening of domestic bliss is upset by a surprise intruder who arrives armed with severe accusations about the wife. Playing as a husband, you'll barely have time to process the tragic consequences of the confrontation which follows before the clock is reset and you find yourself transported 12 minutes back in time. Worst of all, no one else seems to be aware of what's going on as you relive the worst night of your life over and over again. So if you're looking for a detective-y, Groundhog Day-ish game, this could be the one for you. If you're looking for a quick clue as to what sort of game Fireteam Elite is going to be, note that it says Aliens and not Alien up front. So rather than clambering through air vents to avoid a single sneaky xenomorph, we'll be loading up all the ammunition we can find and blasting through entire crowds of the suckers, just as James Cameron intended. Thankfully, you won't be facing the hordes alone, with Fireteam Elite letting you play cooperatively with a couple of friends or providing you with a few AI teammates to watch your back. Just don't trust them too much. Artificially intelligent folks have a bit of a mixed track record in the Alien universe. But whoever you're teaming up with, you'll have access to an array of pulse rifles, turrets and flamethrowers to help you thin out the Xenomorph horde, just like in the movies. Just make sure you don't run out of ammo at the wrong moment, otherwise it's game over man. 
Madden NFL 22 is another great option if you and your buddies want to try to batter your way through a horde of hostile bodies. Although we're pretty sure you won't be allowed to use a flamethrower in this one. The new game will feature a more in-depth franchise mode that lets you really get into the finer details of how your team is managed, plus a more robust scouting system and the addition of game day momentum, which promises to add a whole new level of psychological warfare to every match. Throw in the return of the yard and improved player physics and star-driven AI which allows players to evolve over the course of the season and you've got the very best version of the very second best kind of football yet to grace a console. Only joking, kinda. If you're psyched for Psychonauts but also want to delve into the even darker parts of the brain, Insound Mind should also be on your list for August. Coming to Windows 10 PC and Xbox Series X and S on August 3rd, this next-gen psychological horror takes place in a small town where things have taken a turn for the weird. Rather than consulting a real estate agent, your character decides to use their experience as a therapist in conjunction with some supernatural hoodoo to transport themselves into the world's inside his patients' minds. Sadly for him, it turns out they all have a very good reason for being in therapy. Falling some way between Inception and Nightmare on Elm Street, In Sound Mind promises to be the sort of game that continues to haunt your brain for a long time after you're done with it. Yeah. Fortunately, not all of August's games ask you to plumb the depths of human psychology. Some just want you to control a chill little bird while they pull off some gnarly skateboard tricks. Life really can be that simple. The titular Skatebird is a delightful little plump fella who is basically illegal not to fall in love with. Especially once you start outfitting them with some of the game's unlockable cosmetics and pulling off all kinds of sweet feathery kickflips. Plus there are a whole bunch of mixtapes for you to collect, featuring nothing but lo-fi bird hop. So if you'd rather spend your evenings watching a tiny bird do tiny grinds along tiny rails and listen to some laid back avian bops, Skatebird will be sliding into town on August 12th. Despite the fact that it was literally a gag in The Simpsons years ago, Lawn Mowing Simulator has proven once and for all that the chance to do virtual yard work gets a lot of people really excited. I mean, just look at the response we got over on Twitch when we played just the demo. Who knew you guys are just nuts about high quality grass maintenance? And that's good because you'll have plenty of it to do, with great grassy plains from across the British countryside all ready and waiting in Lawn Mowing Simulator for you to slowly chomp through. Like a large mechanical cow with a fondness for straight lines and neat edges and you'll get to go on this rural thrill ride while at the wheel of a mower from some of the biggest brands in the industry, including Toro, Skag, and Stigger. It really is the stuff dreams are made of, especially if hay fever has stood between you and the perfect lawn mowing experience up until now. The wait for Age of Empires 4 might almost be over, but that doesn't mean you have to consign the previous games to the history books, especially not when the third one is getting a massive new expansion with two brand new African civilizations, as well as 15 new maps and three new historical battles, all set within the cradle of life. We'll also be getting a brand new season of Apex Legends kicking off on August 3rd and titled Emergence. Players will also be introduced to a new legend named Seer, who's outfitted with a healthy supply of micro drones and a really sweet hat. Fans of America's favorite pastime are also in for a treat this August as the qualifying rounds for MLB The Show's summer circuit continue from August 7th. We're sure to be in for some top class baseball action, although you'll probably have to provide your own hot dogs. Finally, Bungie have scheduled an event on August 24th to give fans a look at what's coming next in Destiny 2, with the season of the Splicer set to wrap up on August 10th and the game's next major expansion, The Witch Queen, not due until next year, we've got an enticingly mysterious few months for them to fill. And to round things off, with another month comes another awesome batch of games for Xbox Live Gold members to dig into. If you're in the mood for an apocalyptically cool hack and slasher, Darksiders 3 has got to be your weapon of choice. Playing as one of the four horsemen, it's up to you to track down the seven deadly sins, ideally while kicking as much butt as possible along the way. 
On the other hand, if you'd rather just pal around with a couple of colorful animal buds, ukulele might be more your style. From the minds that brought you the zany antics of Banjo-Kazooie, you can expect exactly the same sort of cartoon shenanigans here. Lost Planet 3 takes you on a journey to an altogether less welcoming place, an arctic world far out in space which has humanity's last hope buried beneath its frozen surface. Sadly, that surface is also covered in giant spider monsters. Finally, if you're in the mood for a slice of classic arcade fighting, look no further than Garu Mark of the Wolves. It has everything you'd look for in a Fatal Fury game, including tidy 2D visuals, deep fighting mechanics, and a roster full of bizarre characters like a pirate lady who controls the wind. Between the vibrant cartoon stylings of Psychonauts 2 and Hades and the darker tones of 12 Minutes and of Sound Mind, August really looks like it has the whole spectrum of gaming excellence pretty well covered. Let us know which games you just can't wait for in the comments and remember to subscribe and ring the bell for all the latest news about all things Xbox. We'll see you next time.